Hi, it's Phil from PT Precision. Um, I'm just going to throw just a little video on this. It's another fucking troll. That, um, the ZD30, it's common rail. Um, it's using, it was using water, right? So I was getting heaps of water in it. You could pressure test it. We had a, the overflow bottle was leaking, the, the uh, EGR cooler was leaking as well. We fixed those but still under pressure it was leaking water into the cylinder. So I pulled the head off. These heads aren't really serviceable. New fucking head. The head is rooted anyway. So number three cylinder had water <laughs> leaking down through them. It's like crack, yeah? This isn't the worst one that I've seen, but still head, new head, new head done, bolts, gaskets, all that sort of shit. So. I was pressure testing the EGR valve as well just to make sure. Just setting up my own bits because I had the manifold machined, swirl flaps and all that sorted out. Had all those cleaned up. We've got to finish cleaning all those off. Got to test, well, they're going to test the injectors now. We've actually got our own test bench now, our own diesel injection bench down there now. We can test I think 4,600 different types of injectors. But Fucking worst thing was when we're cleaning it up, clean this up, get it ready to go. We've cleaned all the block, top of the block off, and number three piston's got a slight crack in the side on the top of the um, piston. So and the balls look a bit funky too. So unfortunately, we now have to pull the motor out. And we're halfway through it. I mean, it's like it, it's not cheap either way. If you get a rebuild engine from another company, I don't know, some of them hit and miss on some of these engines, but or in any engine particularly, but it's like a six week turnaround. So we tried to pull the bloody sump off. I was gonna just gonna pop the pistons out and just maybe do a set of pistons. But there's two bolts in behind the um, bell housing that you can't actually get to on the bottom of the sump, so Fuck it, we'll just we'll pull the whole motor out. The bloke obviously doesn't want to spend the money on doing a full rebuild and all that sort of stuff, so I can't <clears throat> I can't help it. But I'll I'll knock the pistons out, I'll have a look at the bearings and then I'll go from there, evaluate it from there. If we get new pistons, second hand piston, it's up to the customer for the pricing and everything like that. But um, it's just unfortunate, you know, so now I thought I'd just show you a little video because there's not many videos online with the motors being pulled out and stuff like that. There is for the timing and all that, but that's pretty simple stuff. But anyhow, all right. Can you see in that piston at all? No. Let's get in there. Oh, mate. You put a light there. Yeah. Can... Where is it? It's up to here. Can you that crack there? You see there? Oh, yeah. The line across there. It's fucking about seven mil, you know? It's no good, it's fucked. Look at it. You, Crack over. Crack over, it's there. Anyway. Okay, so we pulled the motor out because we couldn't get the sump off, obviously, that engine, so we got it out, ripped the sump off. We've got the pistons out, the bearings are okay on this. Now this guy doesn't want to continue spending a lot more money. So what we're going to do, I've got the piston away being size, I've actually located another set of pistons. I'm going to give this a, a light home in here. I'm going to keep the bearings, big end bearings and stuff on there. Emma's scared, there she is, look at her, scared. Um, we've got the pistons out, we'll put a new set of pistons in it. Um, the other one, number three, I'll show you later. It's got a massive big crack in it, but um, anyway, I mean that's that's going. We've got a bit of stuff out of this. Fucking, there's stuff everywhere on this thing. We need to clean up a little bit, but well, we've done the injectors on the bench, so we've flow tested those. They come up really good, so they're done. Other more manifold stuff being done in there, but they're they're done on their machine here, so. They've tested all those out, they've tested out quite good. Uh, so we'll put them back in. But yeah, 
Anyway, so we're not going to do a full rebuild. We're not going to do bearings and um, all the rest of it, stripping down the gears and everything. So I've got a new water pump and all that for it. But anyway, all fun and games. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, so um, just a bit on this. I'm not going to film everything, but I've cleaned up the bores. I've given them a light hone. So on all four cylinders, got all four new pistons, rings. The bearings are okay. He doesn't want to go too much further with it. It's money's problem, but um, they put it, put a new set of uh, rings and pistons into it. So it's sort of like a little mini rebuild, I imagine. So, but uh, we're slowly getting there. Okay, so. Build the engine uh, out here and put it in complete as long as we can get to the top two top bolts here for the bell housing. Yeah. You know, I've, oil, I've all obviously oiled up the bearings and like this before. Oiled up the. the uh, Sorry.